Donna Gascana, let me, let me start maybe with the two most important people in your life. Uh, I think you said that beautifully, Nancy and Matthew. Uh, he does really just adore you both. He talks about you all the time, and I think that was a, a great place to start. Uh, number two is House Democrat Caucus leader. I had the chance, both as majority leader and speaker, to anticipate every day when I would prepare that Dave Descano was going to be extremely prepared. And as he said, he was going to advocate his principles fiercely. And I always loved it. He was always going to do it within the rules and the customs of this institution. And I knew every morning when I got up, and boy, I got up about 530, that I better be ready. And you did a tremendous job representing your side of the aisle. You, you're a very principled man. Uh, that I think we all, I think you saw the outpouring today, we all respect greatly, so Godspeed. Delegate from Fairfax, Delegate Fullercorn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Point of personal privilege. Delegate has the floor. Thank you. I don't quite know where to begin, David. David is truly somebody who is motivated to improve the world and always has been. And I think we all know that and we have seen that. As a city councilman, as a mayor, as a delegate, as a leader, and then as leader emeritus. David Toscano, the gentleman from Charlottesville, has done just that. He has worked on major policy issues that we all know about, but he's also the one who gets excited over the nuances, repairing potholes, and whatever he can do to further improve the lives of his constituents. This is the type of person, this is the type of legislator that we need in the General Assembly. David has favored bold steps, as well as some which have gone through, and many of which he's championed that have not. But at least he has sparked important and continuous and deliberate conversation over and over and over again. He has literally been responsible for reforming so much of the code about how child adoption works in our Commonwealth, just as one small example. There's so many others. He was also responsible for helping to advocate for transportation reform, for child safety laws, and most important, Medicaid expansion. Such a consequential vote for all of us and 400,000 Virginians. David lives and breathes public service. He was a progressive before progressive was even the thing to be. He believes in helping others every single day, and it's evident in what he does in his law firm, in his law practice every single day, as well as what he does throughout the community and has done for so many years here on the floor of the House of Delegates. And David, we are so much better for it. I came here in 2010 and the gentleman from Charlottesville shortly took the reins of leadership not long after my arrival in late 2011. David made an effort to reach out to me then, just as he did this past year, as he was transitioning from leader to leader emeritus. He's been a longtime advisor, sounding board, advocate, and I'm proud to say, good friend. We will all miss his institutional knowledge here, for sure, his, and his impressive grasp of the rules. David, I know that Nancy and Matthew will be so glad to have so much more of your time, which is so important. And I'm truly confident, as we all here are on the floor, that you will continue to make a difference in the lives of Virginians and in your community, and really towards the Commonwealth as a whole. But just know how much we will truly miss you. Thank you so much for your service to the people, your constituents, residents of the 57th, to our caucus, 
to the entire body, the Commonwealth is truly a better place for the mark that you have made in it. Thank you, the gentleman from Charlottesville.